The first segment of a new launch tower for SpaceX's behemoth Starship rocket moved across the Kennedy Space Center to Pad 39A, where the company is poised to erect one of the largest structures at the Cape Canaveral spaceport. Riding a special transporter, the metal tower segment left SpaceX's build site at the Roberts Road facility inside the gates of the Kennedy Space Center for a seven-mile trip to Pad 39A on Wednesday night, June 15th. The tower segment passed by the vehicle assembly building on the way to the launch pad, where SpaceX has built mounting locations for the Starship launch tower and the pedestal on which the Starship's super heavy booster will sit before liftoff. When complete, the tower will stand more than 40 stories tall, higher than the fixed service structure from the space shuttle era at Pad 39A. Like the launch site in Texas, SpaceX does not plan to dig a flame trench for the Starbase pad at Kennedy. The super heavy booster with 33 methane fueled Raptor engines will take off from the launch mount with around 17 million pounds of thrust, nearly twice that of NASA's most powerful rocket, the Space Launch System, a fully expendable vehicle. NASA's first flight ready Space Launch System rocket stood nearby on Launch Complex 39B, where it's undergoing testing as SpaceX wheeled the Starship launch tower piece to Pad 39A this week. SpaceX says the Super Heavy and Starship stack, comprising the rocket's first and second stages, will be fully reusable. The entire rocket stands nearly 400 feet, or 120 meters, tall, requiring the construction of a purpose-built pad co-located with SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center. The launch pad tower under construction at Pad 39A sits about 1,000 feet or 300 meters east of the location where SpaceX launches the Falcon 9 rocket, carrying satellites and astronauts into orbit. When finished, the Starship pad will resemble the facility SpaceX has built in South Texas at the company's Starbase factory and test site. More launch tower segments for the Starship pad are visible outside SpaceX's Roberts Road site, where the company is also building a Starship factory next to a hangar used for refurbishment of Falcon 9 rocket boosters and fairings. SpaceX is expected to move more tower segments to Pad 39A over the coming weeks to complete the structural buildup of the Starship pad, where teams have also moved in propellant tanks and other support equipment. Once the tower structure is fully assembled, Construction crews will add arms used for stacking of the Starship on top of the Super Heavy booster. The company says the arms will also be used to catch the 30-foot wide Super Heavy booster when it comes back to Earth for landing. What appears to be hardware for the launch tower's arms, nicknamed Chopsticks, arrived at the Kennedy Space Center on trucks on Friday, June the 17th. Elon Musk, SpaceX's founder and CEO, said earlier this year that the Starship base in South Texas will primarily be used for research and development and test flights, with Florida likely to be the home base for operational launches and landings. SpaceX foresees using the Starship vehicle to eventually carry cargo and people to Mars, but first it will launch with SpaceX's new generation of Starlink Internet satellites, and NASA has signed a contract with SpaceX to develop a version of the Starship to carry crews to the surface of the moon. If you're interested in more coverage, consider becoming a Space Flight Now member. Bonus content for members includes live views of the Starship Pad construction site in Florida. And visit spaceflightnow.com for coverage of all upcoming launches.